Hello and welcome back to my channel, the Sun and Branch, and this is the third Python tutorial video. So today I'm going to be talking about strings. But before that, let us revisit what we learned last time. So last time we learned a bit more about variables. So we learned how to do multiplication, division, power with variables using variables in Python. So we also learned how to assign words with variables and how to add them. Uh, so assigning words with variables is also called strings, so which will be which we will be stressing more on today. So now, uh, before we start lesson, let us create a variable. Let's say variables to inventory. Okay. Then now in Python, when you start with numbers or like when you start with numbers, you like you start with zero. So let us say in my name, it will start from zero. So zero, one, two, three, four, five. So each letter or each um each letter or each space in a um string will be given a number according to its position. So it'll start from zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So and the spaces will also count as well. So now let's say you want to find um which letter is in a specific number position. So now you how you do that is layer and square brackets and let us say we want to find out which letter is in the sixth position so which will give r because it's 0 1 2 3 4 6 all right r yes so that's how you do it and then let's try a little like, more mm, let's say we want to call out 12 last number all right and mm, let's say the blank space how do you turn that that's how you do it. Nothing. That seems cool. I never tried that. All right. So you get it right. So that's how you um, check which letter is in a specific number position. Now, one interesting thing you can do with this is, but before that, I say, what if you wanted to find out which like which letters are in a specific like, number position range? Uh, let's let me just show you guys. So let's say you want to find out which like, which letters are from which letters are present from 0 to 6 no 0 to 7 let's say 0 to 7 which letters are in 0 to 7 like I really don't want to count or do stuff I just want to print it out so player from 0 use the column which means 2 0 to 7 so yes yeah, so num R so that's how you like put out that's how you put out letters in a specific range of numbers. Let us try a few more examples. Uh, let us say, basically from, let's say all. Let us let us try to print it all. Twelve. All right. So number okay. What's that? All right. That thing's thirteen. Zero to thirteen. All right. So number thirteen. We got all my names. Alright, all right, now, what if you wanted to find out how many letters are there in a specific string or in a specific word? So now you use the function len. So len, and then let's try with a different example right now. How many letters are in this? Alright, so there are 61. So that's how you find out how many letters are in a string or in a sentence. Let's see how many letters are there in our variable. Player. 13. So there are 13 um, words words or letters in our variable. So now one more interesting thing you can do with strings uh, is you can like attach attach it with a another string. How do you say that? I'll just show you the guys. So let's create more um more variables. So there we will rename player. To Sona. So we need to name Sona. Let's say player one. Then say player two. Uh, all right. So we got three variables now. Let's say we want to wish, wish them all happy new year. So now how you do that is first use the print function and then say happy new year. And then go. Player, oh, 
layer one, go to layer two. All right, so that's how you do it, and let's see what the result is. All right, see, we got Happy New Year, Sunam Denzin Ginga. That's a new name, but still it counts. So that's how you like attach strings with another string or another like. That's how you attach strings with. Yeah, that's how you attach strings with this. So you get it, right? I don't know how to explain it, but you get it. I think you get it, because you guys are smart. So that's how you do it, and that's all for today. And also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys in the next video.